Hey YouTube, welcome to another exciting battle brought to you by the Sharpedophile for kids. So um, today I have a battle for you against uh, <laughs> Wonder of the Wind, and his name is really Sykes84, and definitely you should call him that and not Wonder of the Wind because he prefers being called Sykes84. Uh, actually, he loves it. And I decided to use my weather team, which is, you know, absolutely fantastic. And you will hear one phrase a lot, and it will be said continuously at the end of the battle. So, without further ado, let's bring you this battle. So, I am going to lead off with my... What do I lead off with? My Obama snow, of course. And he's going to lead off with his Steelix... And this Steelix is pretty beast. It's even better with choice specs. Trust me, it's fantastic. But um, I go for the Leech Seed just to get some, you know, Leech Seed on him. And he goes for Stealth Rocks. And I knew he was going to do that. He wouldn't hit me with a Rock move because I would be expecting that he really wants his Stealth Rocks up. So now he's going to withdraw his Steelix. And I go for the Grass Knot, trying to hit him hard and, and you know, destroy his face off because Grass Knot would own uh, Steelix Hardcore. So now he's going to switch into this Gallade. The Gallade is probably going to close combat me so I switch into my Foxy Grandpa because it is the only thing that wants to take a close combat and it wants to take it to death because now now my Foxy Grandpa is dead. Nine Tails set up the sun but it's not going to matter much because there are three other weathers as you know. So, now I send out my Gallade, and I'm just going to hit it with the Psycho Cut. But he switches out into his Steelix, which was a good um, good prediction there, because he did have the defense lowering from the close combat, so the Psycho Cut would have killed him. So now I'm going to switch out, go back into my Abomas Snow, thinking that he has nothing he can do to me. He makes a really good prediction, goes for the Rock Slide, and that's not going to take me out, obviously, as you can see there, and... I believe now I'm just going to go for a blizzard to hit him hard, and I don't know if this takes him out. No, it doesn't, which is really surprising, and he just roars me out. I go into my polytoad, set up the drizzle, and I'm going to, I think, predict his switch, go for the hypnosis or something. No, I just go for the hydro pump. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm wrong. Okay, so hydro pump, kill the Steelix. That's all good. So now he is going to switch in his Mars Volta, which is this Galvantula, that's what it's called. He is, I'm fearing he might have the Thunder because a lot of Galvantulas carry it and he actually goes for the Energy Ball, predicting me to switch out and stay in at the same time. I think that's what he was going for there. But uh, he actually doesn't kill my Bomb Snow and on the switch and I live with 4 HP, but he is going to outspeed me and take me out there. So... Yeah, that that really sucks. Galvantula is just like, I've got six eyes and I'm going to rape you in the face. But I say nay to that because Scarftar is a man. And he is scared of Scarftar and he just dies to a crunch. He, he didn't even want to switch out because he was so scared. It was like an automatic meme look. So now he doesn't know what to do because Scarftar is a man. And he sends out his Dragonite. Multiscale is useless because I have the Sandstorm. So, what am I going to do? I am going to switch out and completely destroy that, what I said. Except for the part where I go into Weatherman and take this Earthquake like a man, like a Scarf Tar. And now I'm going to go for the Weather Ball, which is Rock in the Sand. And he switches out into the Gallade to take it. So, really nice play. The Sandstorm is going to kill me off. Um, and now I'm going to want to switch into my uh, own Gallade because I know I'll be able to kill him with a Psycho Cut and he will not be able to kill me with a Psycho Cut. Goes for the Shadow Stink, does not take me out. I kill him with the Psycho Cut, which is fantastic because Gallade is the biggest threat to this team. And yeah, that that's about the only threat to this team. Not really, but I like to pretend. So now he goes into his Akilamon. And I'm pretty sure this thing is Scarfed, but it, it goes for a U-turn, uh, kills my Gallade, which is, you know, nice for him. But that may not have been the smartest move because, for one reason, Scarfed is a man. 
and he is going to get his second kill right here because he uses crunch on the reuniclus and that is exactly ohko so reuniclus is dead and scarf charge is showing you what a man he is and i don't even know what dragon knight's doing why he's coming in here on scarf tar i i switch out into um into drizzle toad making sure that i can come in and kill dragon knight um with my scarf tar because as you know as i've said scarf tar is a man drizzle toad is going to be killed off by dragon knight but it doesn't matter because scarf tar is a man and here he goes. Oh, was was he gonna do? Was he gonna do? He's gonna outspeed the Dragonite. And was he gonna do? He's gonna hit him with the Stone Edge. Oh snap! There he go. He's down. That's the third kill for Scarftar right there. And was he gonna do? He sends out a kill him on. Well, you know what? Scarftar is a man, fool. Don't you know this yet? And now his a kill him on is dead. So <laughs> Scarftar just decided to rape his whole team. Um, he forced them. Uh, into submission and now they're all dead so <laughs> that was a really good battle there wonder of the wind it was actually a 1-0 even though scarf Tower was the only one that did anything for my team um <laughs> i really enjoyed that battle and you guys got to see the weather team own some more so uh yeah there's not much else to say hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you next time see you later scarf Tower's a man